Hello everyone! Today's topic is how to get a rock drake. And you cannot tame it, but you can hatch an egg and this is the only way how to get it. And today I'm going to show you how this works. Here in my breeding room I can show you my setup. So you see air conditionings and those are 30 air conditionings on top of each other. If you have no clipping use this method because you save so much space. Put those air conditionings on their own generator. I have my generator over here because you want to turn it off. As you can see it's super loud. You want to turn this air conditioning off if you need to. You also want to be level 68 to make the whole biohazard suit. And you want to be level 75 to make the rock break saddle. Um, there's also a tech saddle but you can only make it when you already unlock the tech stuff. So for now we're going with a normal saddle. And now to the question how to get the eggs. So if you follow the trails at the portal spawn, you want to fly or glide down to the pink river in the, um, in the crack down there. Then you're heading right, you see this metal tube, you want to pass the metal tube until you see two pink waterfalls. And behind the left of the waterfalls, you will find a little cave opening and this is exactly where you want to be. But before you can enter the cave, you will get attacked and you will get attacked by other rock drakes, which you have to kill even though it's a little annoying because they do lay the eggs. But you will also get attacked by the nameless and the nameless you need to kill because the nameless will drop something called nameless venom. And this is actually the food for the um, rock drake babies. Um, so when you're raising vibrants, then you will have vibrant milk to feed um, the babies. But for rock drakes, you need this um, nameless venom. And so my rock drake right now is in infinite stats, just for me not dying while I'm doing this video. Um, so I'm now killing the rock drakes that are attacking me, also killing the nameless. And um, yeah, you will you will soon see that there are several bags on the ground. And as soon as I cleared this mess here up, um, I will just hop down the rock drake and I will collect all the rock drake venom from the bags. Sometimes it takes a while because like everything is just attacking you. Um, but it looks like I killed the majority of stuff that wanted to eat me. So I'm. Uh, Hopping down now, put this on passive so it doesn't like run away. And I search the bags for the venom right now. Just getting all the venom that I that I can get. I need a lot of it. You need a lot of it. Once in the cave, you will not have to search for the eggs for very long because they are just like glowing in a bright pink purple from their eggs. So use your um, gr uh, your hooks or your rock drag to get into the nest and, um, well, find a good egg and just uh, pick it up. And then you will have to leave very fast because all the rock drags are now very, very angry at you. So try to get away alive. And do you remember this big metal tube that was um, at the entrance of the cave? Um, get back to it and um, either use your hooks to get up the spine, like you see this metal spine, or if you already have one, use your rock drag to get up the spine, because this will lead you out of the cave. Um, like it will, as soon as you as you reach the top, you will uh, see um, the nice light of the so-called surface. It's not the surface, like on the map surface, but. Um, the nice friendly mushroom woods. Once you're back in the base, what to do is actually very, yeah, very similar to raising a vibran. So you turn on the generator, you drop the egg next to the air conditioning, dropping, not eating, press O, not E, and then you wait. Um, depends on your server settings how long you have to wait. Um, here I, um, yeah, I turn it like very, very fast. Um, but I will be back when the egg is hatching. And there we are. Only a few seconds are left. As you can see, it's very, very fast. And it's hatching now. 
And everyone who knows me knows how lucky I am in getting twins and getting triplets. And again, we got twins. And um, yeah, I'm putting uh, the venom into the first one, just getting to my preserving bin, because that's the only way you, you can store it a little longer than in your inventory. Um, also putting the second um, venom into the other one. Um, now I'm a, I'm a little unlucky because I need a lot of venom because now I have two drakes. So prepare for this. Prepare to get triplets or twins or prepare to get many. Um, so like prefer having too much venom than not enough. And yeah, they are now uh, slowly growing. You can force feed, but you don't have to. It's like with the vibrance. It's almost exactly the same. They will eat when they are hungry. So um, yeah, that's how it works. Um, we're now wait waiting until they are almost grown. And here they are, almost grown. Uh, only seconds left on maturing. And there we go. There we go. The first one is... The first one is grown. The second one needs a little bit longer. For whatever reasons, because they grew... Uh, <laughs> they hatched the same time. I don't know why the second one is now taking forever. But it is, and there we are. The second one is adult too. I already have um, two saddles. Um, those are the normal saddles, not the tech saddles. I will put them on so you can see how it looks with the saddle on. There is the saddle, and then the other one gets a saddle too. Give me a second to find it. Saddle, saddle, saddle. There we go. And they are even had some food left. I'm very lucky. Besides gliding through the air like a champion, the drakes have a special ability. When you press C on your keyboard, they turn almost invisible. And so they cannot get the aggro from animals or um, can be easily seen by enemies when you're playing PvP. And this is very, very useful because as you can see, the drakes are very colorful and you will see them. And now I'll show you how it could be like in the gameplay, then you're like you're hiding at the stone, for example, like this one, you press C and you're going invisible and people will not really see you. I hope this video answered your question how to get a rock drake and it helped you in, uh, in your plans on getting one. And if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I hope you have a lot of fun playing. Bye bye!